Oh yeah, she tender. Oh, she split it now. What is that, bone? What is that? Yeah, that's like a little. Oh, is that? Let's see. Who got a knife? Right there, see. Oh, you got. Yeah, boy. I'll oh, yeah. touch that right there. Right there. That's that's the. Uh, Oh yeah. Ooh, how am I gonna fry that? That's gonna fall apart. Well, very carefully. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, we were. Uh, this is kind of an update to this video we're shooting here. We were gonna shoot uh, the video of the fried rattlesnake, and we're actually doing the rattlesnake, but we're not gonna be able to fry it and give it out as a sampling for everybody here at the VU. Well, the reason is it kind of overboiled it, and yeah, boiling technique, you better believe it. It makes it tender, too tender. We overboiled it, and now we have like a really pulled pork consistency. So we're going to do something else with it. That way people can try the rattlesnake. It's going to be good, and I think it's going to be a first ever. Maybe, maybe not. We got Bones Yard working on that right now, so that's the update. Oh, check out the tin foil chicken in the background uh, oh, that's a bush here where it is there it is <laughs> saltine cracker my camera's going yes sir okay. anything no mayonnaise no mustard yeah, I'm a uh, no, 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 no. onion onion salt onion. pepper salt french pepper. fry seasoning <laughs> boiled eggs this is tuna fish of the land you can do your own thing, yeah, but you do your own thing. Check it out. Mr. Kenneth brought his own spoon. This is a special spoon. It's a Bob 808 night spoon. And what's that you're about to eat? I, it's tuna fish of the land. It doesn't have legs. No legs, what could it be? Mm. Does it bite back? I didn't put the hot sauce in it. I feel a little kick. That might be the good. pepper or the onion. Mm. Then again, it could be kicking you with the whipping tail. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait. Let's listen for the rattle. You know, <laughs> back when I was camping on Padre Island, I saw some of these guys that were alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we skit this while it was still moving. We're still moving? I have the video. Would you like to see that video? Oh, man. Man, this, the, we took the heart out and it was still beating. Boom, 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 boom. Just the heart it. by itself. Boom, 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 boom. What, did, this, you eat, did you eat the heart? No, th th but this is the <laughs> leftover from the... Well... The leftover from Mr. the rest. Mr. The rest. Rogers of Bushcraft likes this. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that either. No, seriously, uh, well, besides the, well, we should have had you taste it when it was actually boiled and no seasoning. We keep trying to tell people that rattlesnake has no flavor whatsoever. No, pure white meat. And it's just, it's, you can't say it's chicken, you can't say it's pork, you can't say anything to it. And it's raw natural state. It is very tough and chewy, but that right there is not chewy at all. It's very tender, very breakable down. Like I say, you might find a rib every once in a while. Manland fried one. We fried one together. Mm -hmm. Very tough. He boiled it so we could fry it, but he overboiled it and right. all the meat come off the bone. So therefore, I can't fry this, so let's try something different. So this is the very, this first, is the very first bushcraft hors d'oeuvre. Very first. Well, and I'm not going to use that yes. fork. Okay. Let's use that fork. I'm not going to use that fork. <laughs> you, know, you know, that deserves to have that <laughs> with your pun <laughs> tea. Yeah. And that is what we're going to shoot next. Now you can grab, yeah, you got your own spoon? Yeah, Great. I'll dip, I'll dip some out and just put it on a cracker. Just one. Just, I hope it, just does, not, I hope it does not upset your... No, 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 that is just nasty. We have a troll on the camera yes, itself. Yes, we do, because we don't eat that shit. <laughs> Very tasty, but it doesn't have any taste at all. Well, it's, it's like tuna fish Only because it's got flavor. I think I see a rattler right there. Oh, oh. Come on, bite you. Maybe a little too much onion, I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. You gave me a small one, so I went and put it all in there. You don't nothing right good, do you? But onion's good. Mm -hmm. I like onion. I don't want to waste any of it. Onion's kind of the best girl repellent ever invented. I killed it. <laughs> Makes me wonder why you didn't make garbaros out of it Timberella. if y'all made it so tender, dog. Because we're 
Man, we're we're poor. I'm I'm in 15, 20 different directions today. Man, that's good. That's the first time ever. It's some count. I've not. I ain't even seen no video. Or nothing. And what that means is somebody here of the three being featured needs to make a video on how to cook tender rattlesnake. That's what this test was all about. Tender rattlesnake. Tender timber. Ten, uh, tim, tim, tender tim, tender timber. Yeah. Tender I timber. Have a tender rattlesnake. Muscle to tender know, timber the rattlesnake. There we go. That I've slept with. <laughs> well, we <laughs> tenderized just left it too long. Yes, it's very tender. Man, that's good. That really we got a sample some so more. If, if it's that good. <laughs> Let's tell the truth here. So I have a Let's question tell the truth. for you, Mr. Bones. <laughs> Mr. Bones. If you made you some see. tender like gar meat, why you didn't make gar bars? You see, you see, you Kenneth know, ran in the background. He was like, I got to get away from this. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of gar balls, you know but I've never. Gar balls? Uh, I've never had gar balls. Never had. Never gar. No, it's, it's a trash fish. No, it's not. It's not really a trash fish. Gar is considered a trash fish, but unfortunately it depends on what part of the country you're in, like here in the south. Wait a minute, they bite back. That means it's a, a game fish. They bite. They like alligator. Yeah, because yeah. they got teeth like this. I know. The only way I'll get it off my hook is to hit them with a boat paddle. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, Putt, rotate my chicken over here, man. I bet that size done. Basically, you basically. Uh, I think it's ready for chicken. That's what he was telling my Who wants to cook? Yeah, I got plenty of seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Just throw the heck on it and, then, and cook it and then flip it. You got eggs in it, too. Yeah. You know, I can taste the pepper. Well, I didn't mean to. If you take chicken and just boil it, take some chicken breast. Yeah, boil it. It, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't have a good yeah, taste. It really doesn't have any flavor. You put all that other stuff in it. <laughs> Oh, that cool, tastes like you. something that's got okay. some flavor to it. It's not the egg, it's not the onion. Well, I don't know how much stuff to put on anything. Because oh. I've never done it before. Yeah, it's great. But you can honestly now, say you that you had battle sure snake. I like it. And I encourage people, you know, it's like anybody wants to get out there and try it, barbecued or whatever they want to do, give it a go. I, you know, I wouldn't recommend you going out there trying to harvest one yourself. But you boil it first. Yeah, yeah. I would say boil it just to tenderize it. Yes, I mean, you're talking about tough. It's it's very chewy. It's kind of like a you chew on a bite piece, on a ligament. Well, I say I'm exaggerating, but yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. I'll yeah. skin one if I get a hold of it because of the, the hide. Mm -hmm. I did a copperhead one time. It was beautiful. No, I'm not eating skinned a copperhead. It. Why? Well, I skinned it. Oh. And, and tanned it and everything. But why wouldn't you eat one? I only heard you can only eat rattles. It was like a shirt. I don't know. I have to research that too. Copperhead's pretty. Who was about that? Oh yeah. Those are mean too. They, they, like they really are. But this one, yeah. oh, he was rolling. They ain't mean. They Copper sweet. They're mean. They sweet. No. They like to get close to you and rub their face on you. Oh, uh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. To me, it sounds like, which other people do, it sounds like a locust. Yep. Yeah, there's no other sound that I know of. Oh, which is like a rattlesnake, especially when he's rattling at you, he goes right by you. You know? Yeah, I guess. Oh, watch out, that's got rattlesnake on the fang. Better catch the zinc. I think so. Tastes like chicken. It's bald the same way as chicken. It has no taste of the meat, but it gives a flavor and texture for the potato salad, which is good. Look, I ate snails. You can't beat this. This man is trying to give me a snail. I ain't no slime there. Oh, you, mean like now? <laughs> you need to try it the way. Look at that. I might be small, but I ain't that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat a pine cone and a bullet. And somebody, a somebody needs to go to Walmart right now and give me some them um, snails. I'll eat them bitches in front well, of you. I ain't. They're good. You just saute them in butter, a little crisp, burn them a little I bit. I eat snake. I ain't no. You know, you know, no snake in a shell. I ain't eating no snake in a shell that spits back on you with, with slime. Good. Are we gonna put barbecue sauce on that while we cooking it? Hey.